Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you have been here before, my name is Morgan. I am a homeschooling mom of two. Um, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing, not really reviewing, doing kind of a first impressions unboxing of the Logic of English Foundations Level A. So I have the full curriculum kit for the Level A of the foundations. Um, thank you Logic of English for sponsoring this video and sending me this beautiful curriculum kit. Um, I would like to say that all my honest, these are all honest reviews, but this isn't truly a review yet. So I haven't even really gotten into this. I'm just showing everything that comes with the curriculum when you purchase it. So if you're interested in seeing that, please stay tuned. Okay, so first things first, um, if I look like a hot mess, it's because I am a hot mess. It's like 80 some degrees out and we don't have the air on yet. So um, I'm hot and sweaty. <laughs> so apologize for that. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that red button. So today I'm gonna be talking about the Logic of English Foundations Level A. This was sent to me for review. Um, I think I already said that, but um, to purchase everything, I believe it's $160, which truly I was planning on purchasing this. So I think it's a wonderful deal for what you're getting. Um, it's pretty on par with every other um, type of full curriculum like this, like in All About Reading or something like that. Um, it's pretty, pretty on par, but I actually hadn't heard of this before until I kind of was doing some digging. It's not as like widely, at least in my opinion, it's not as popular, I guess. I'm not really sure, but I think it's a wonderful program from what I've seen so far. And I think it's a little more inclusive than um, All About Reading, to be honest. And I have used that before. I just think it has more meat in the curriculum. So, and that's just from first glance. I'll do full on reviews and kind of like using it once we start it in the fall, but we're not quite ready for it yet. Um, so this is definitely for the fall. It is what, May now? Um, so we probably won't start this until September. But first things first, what you get in the kit is the teacher's manual, which is a beautiful hardback um, book. It says ages four to seven. It says a thorough approach to reading that engages and delights, multi-sensory, sy systematic, research-based, and fun. Um, some of the things it covers, um, there's phonics, sounds of A to Z, writing the letters, in a manuscript or cursive. Oh, and this entire, I got the manuscript because my son's really not that great with um, with writing <laughs> or just pencil grip at all. But you can get this entire thing in cursive too if you're interested in that. Um, so that is a really good option that I don't think I've ever seen but from anything else of this nature, you could get cursive. So that's interesting. Um, consonant vowel, consonant words consonant blends, 35 high frequency words, fluency, vocabulary, and reading comprehension. So that is everything it covers just in the level A. So like I said, it is a gorgeous book. I will do a uh, close up kind of thing, but I just want to show something. It's beautifully set up. This is an open and go. Like this is open and go. It's got like, uh, what's it called? Like a script. It has a script you can follow. Um, of what to say and how to teach your child. And then very important for some people in some states, it follows common core standards. Um, a lot of homeschool curriculums do not, even if they do follow it, they don't like lay it out like this. It follows the standard. It tells you the standard, what it is and what pages and lessons are gonna do that. So if you're in a state that you really need to um, kind of track and uh, document everything like that. Um, I'm not actually, but uh, I'm in New Jersey where it's like, there's like hardly, all I have to do is say, hey, my kid's homeschooled and that's it. But, which is kind of scary to me, but whatever. Um, but it tells you all the common core standards. So that's really interesting. I think that is really important, especially for people who like me, um, sometimes I lack a little confidence in homeschooling my kids, um, which I think is, pretty typical of any new homeschooler. That is the teacher's manual. Like I said, I will do a full on review of this after we actually use it. This is just some first look. Um, and if you would like 
a review on, or if you want like a comparison of The Logic of English and All About Reading, which I think I prefer this one more just looking at it, um, I can do a full video on that if you're interested. So the next thing that comes in the kit, or yeah, the curriculum is the manuscript workbook. Like I said, you can get these in cursive, but I got manuscript. Um, really cute, simple workbook. I like that there's not like a ton of extra on these pages because my son can get a little distracted, but they're really cute. Nice illustrations. Just a workbook that matches the, the textbook. This is really cool. This is the Doodling Dragons in ABC Book of Sounds. Now, something that Logic of English does differently that I really appreciate is when they introduce a letter, they give you all of the sounds the letter makes right off the bat. So it has the short, the long, and the vowel sound for, if there's a vowel, for all the letters. And then it gives you examples. So like, it's this cute little book, apples and ants, snakes ate grapes, wash the walls. Like it's just baking, barking beagle, buttered bread, blowing bubbles, baby's head, bed. So it's just like this really cute little rhyming storybook um, where it'll tell you all the letter sounds that the letters can possibly make right away, which a lot of programs don't. They don't, they kind of simplify it or dumb it down. I just think it's really great that you can learn or you can teach your kids all of the letter sounds right from the start so they know that they're not gonna be surprised later on when we're like you know what remember when we said letter a says ah well actually there's two more sounds um i just think it's really good that you can learn it right away with that so that's pretty cool and then it also comes with a ton of little like game cards and tiles and stuff um like i said i haven't actually like read through this so i don't know what these go to yet but they are really nicely made they, it comes with the funogram game tiles which are like little cardboard punch out things you would punch out i've seen a lot of people put magnets on the back of these and um use a magnet board to move them around i might do that that sounds like a really great idea um also i would be i might lose them so that seems like a really great idea but they're the phonogram game tiles I also have the basic phonogram flashcards, which I think I'm gonna do like a single hole punch and put like a ring on them. But we've got lowercase letters. Hold on here. Lowercase letters on the front. And then it also has, it has the sound and an example word on the back. And then we've got, what else do we have? We've got some basic phonograms, A R, A U, A W, things like that. Next up, and I think these go with those little game cards, or what are these called? Game tiles are the game cards. Like I said, we got the manuscript, so these are in book face, I guess. And these are just little game cards. Um, I, like I said, I don't know what, what games they go to yet, but they are just cute little cards. Really nice qual quality. Um, and then we also have those, and I've just been keeping these in a little Walmart bin, and they actually, they fit perfectly. So, that's pretty cool. Um, and then they also comes with, and like I said, all of this comes in the kit. You don't have to, like, pick and choose and get all these different things. Um, I think you can get additional workbooks for more kids, but you wouldn't need, um, and another thing I'm going to show you here, I'll just show you right now. Um, it comes with this little marker board um, that they can practice writing on i believe you can buy this and the workbook separate um if you have like twins or something i have a friend in homeschool who has twin boys so she would need like two of the writing things but not two of everything um but this does all come in the kit for 160. so like i was saying um <laughs> that comes with two of the game cards they're exactly the same but they're just written a little differently i'm kind of thinking i should have gotten cursive I don't know, maybe I'll order cursive too. I don't know, but, hmm, I don't know. Cause I feel like, like I got manuscript, I feel like I would have gotten the book face ones, which is like how we like normally write. And then I would have gotten these in cursive. I don't know, maybe I'll get the cursive too, who knows. And then the last like big card thing it comes with are, I'm like super excited about these. The Rhythm of Handwriting Manuscript Tactile Cards. These, I think I definitely might order in cursive as well, but they are exactly what they say. They're tactile cards. They're these giant cards and the letter, you can't really tell, but they are made out of like, um, 
what is it called? Sandpaper. So um, you can literally feel the letter. And a lot of times if my son is like just drawing on like lines with his finger or his pencil or something, he's like, and it goes everywhere. But this like directs their hand and they're like, follow this cool texture and you'll write the letter A. So that's pretty cool. They have, I believe they have, okay. They have beginning handwriting where they just learn how to do the little like swirls. And let's see, this is a bump. This one is a, a circle. Oh, I mean, I guess that one, what's that one called? cross okay but it teaches you the different parts of the letter and then you learn lowercase letters uppercase letters and then as a bonus you also get numbers on the back here so that's pretty cool really like these um might get these in cursive too um, and just kind of keep them around so really like the um tactile cards and then a couple little things. I already showed you the board that comes with it. Um, so that board comes with the curriculum kit. And then it comes with these cool reference sheets. Now, a lot of times, like, obviously, I know how to write and I know how to read. But it's been a very long time since I learned how to read. So, like, a lot of times, I, it's, I have a hard time explaining why things are the way they are. Like, the English language is a hard language. But these are really helpful and I'm really excited that I have these. They are, there's three different ones. This one's first, I don't really need this one so much, but it's a quick reference on spelling analysis. So it's kind of, and it has, it's a little um, key. So like the purple is the teacher and the blue is the student. And it's just a little script about how, um, helping them learn how to spell words. So there's this one syllable and then multi-syllable. So that's just a quick little reference sheet if you need help teaching your, your kids, which is really good. And then there is the phonogram and spelling rule quick reference, how to add a suffix to any word. Um, let's see, da, da, da. what else we got? Advanced phonograms, multi-letter phonograms, phonograms with limited usage, and just kind of those like weird words. Um, like here, let's see. Like right here, it's like kind of exceptions to words. Like EY says A in only 10 common base words, like hey, way, obey, survey, pray, things like that. So um, just kind of interesting things when your kids ask you a question like, oh, well, if the rule is this, then why does this say this? Um, you can go here because sometimes the rules are just the rules, you know? But, oh, and then spelling rules on that one. And then the other one is the handwriting, manuscript handwriting quick reference. Um, this is another one of the things I think I'm gonna get in cursive just to have, because I'm actually not that great at writing in cursive. So um, that was one of those things that they didn't really teach me in school. So yeah, this is just, it teaches you the different parts of how to write, but I kind of know how to write manuscripts. So. Um, tipsy teaching handwriting. So these are really cool. I like these little reference cards. Um, I think these are good to have in your home school. And obviously you do not need to use them like with this curriculum. They just kind of go along with everything. And you could just kind of keep these in your little, in your desk and um, flip back to these if you need them. So that was pretty cool. Okay, so hopefully I didn't talk too long about Logic of English um, Foundations Level A, but that is everything that comes in the kit. Like I said, it is $160 for everything here, and it's free shipping, I believe, like all the time. Um, but I think this is a really good deal for what you're getting. I think it is one of the best, like, I don't want to say all-inclusive, but one of the best, yeah, all-inclusive reading and phonics programs I've seen, and because it, it's got reading, yeah, right, what do we have here? Yeah, reading, phonics, and handwriting, which a lot of times does not come all as one thing. So um, I think that's really, really nice. So I really enjoy this curriculum so far. I can't wait to use it. Um, I think my son will be perfect. It says it's for ages four to seven. My son, is, he'll be almost five this coming school year. So I think he'll be like perfect to start it. Um, and I will keep you updated on how I like it and how it goes for us. And like I said, I will do a full review like at the end of next year. So like this time next year about um, how it went for us and if I would recommend it again or if I would use, if I'm gonna move on to level B or yeah, level B. Um, 
So if you're interested in all those types of videos in the future and more curriculum videos, please hit this red subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!